I just pulled up to take a Pilates class with a friend. I'm trying a new studio. I've been very into my class pass lately. I realized when I re-downloaded the app that I still have so many leftover credits and referrals from like 2018 when I used to use it. So that was a very nice surprise. And I've been trying to take as much advantage as possible of it with lots of yoga, Pilates. I've been really into this hip Pilates class at a studio in Williamsburg lately called Yoga Space. But I'm trying a dance studio today. If you guys know, I danced growing up, mainly ballet, modern, contemporary. I also did jazz and some other styles, but not my favorite. I'm definitely more of like a ballet, modern, contemporary girl. The studio's called Good Moves. They have open level classes. I've never been. And like I said, today I'm taking a Pilates class with a friend, but I'm excited to check it out. Um, I know they do like a ballet class that's more of a workout, but it's with actual dancers, which I really appreciate. We'll have to see how it goes. It's a very rainy, gloomy day in New York today. Maybe I'll catch up with you guys for a second because I had to move my car earlier than expected for street cleaning. I've had so much going on this week. I've also gotten a lot of exciting news. I have some really fun meetings next week that sort of came to fruition this week with stuff that I feel like I've been manifesting for a really long time. I've really been working towards it as well. I also just signed a contract with a brand for content that I've also been manifesting for a long time. If you guys know, in the last couple years, I've become a huge car girly, a huge motorsport girly, specifically F1. And maybe you know, maybe you don't. Puma is the main fashion sponsorship for F1, so I've been really wanting to work with them just to have a bit of crossover. They like take people to races, and they just hired me to do some short form content, and I'm pretty sure I got the job because I pitched the content being more car focused, which I've never really shot anything like that, but I'm really excited to. Really hope that can turn into me working with them in some sort of F1 capacity. Since the US market is being targeted so hard right now with all of our new races, I've never been to a US race. I've only been to one in Canada. I've been to a Formula E race in New York before they don't do that one anymore. That's like the electric car racing version. A formula one and yeah all of that's been really exciting tomorrow i am shooting the first vintage and pre-love drop for my brand stats ballet we are launching a secondhand marketplace in addition to the pieces that we design and manufacture i have really been pushing more in a secondhand vintage direction i still love designing and manufacturing products and we try to do it in the most sustainable way possible Everything is made here in the U.S. With dead stock or organic materials. We do things smaller batch, organic dyes. You know, we try to do the best that we can. But scaling that as a business and making that my full-time job just hasn't sat right with me for a little while. Also due to some ownership struggles, which I've shared with you guys, which I have another meeting about. There's going to be a fight behind me. I have sourced so many amazing pieces for this vintage drop though, you guys. I'm gonna show you some of my favorites later today. I've just been really wanting to introduce some new avenues, new directions, also just for myself to do something fun again. A lot of the pieces are very like Western, goth inspired. Pretty much everything is unbranded, unlabeled. There are some pieces that are, but they're more like heritage brands. And I think the price point should be pretty good on most of the stuff. It's mainly outerwear. There's a lot of like more spring outerwear though. And shoes, I have a good amount of shoes. I've been trying to stick to categories that we don't really produce. We make a lot of great basic styles that are cooler than normal basics, in my opinion, at least. I like to think of them as uniform styles. I'm wearing one of our t-shirts right now. So I'm super excited to launch that. We're also starting to do consignment pieces with old collection styles that have sold out. I've posted this on Instagram, and if you follow the brand, maybe you already know. But if you guys have any old Stratzvalet pieces that you're looking to sell, you can reach out to me via email. I will put the info below. We just really want to create a circular economy, marketplace, 
there's definitely still a market for a lot of pieces that we don't produce anymore. So those older pieces are gonna be on a consignment basis. And if you reach out to me, I can send you more info. I've seen people selling our old styles on sites like Grailed or Depop for years now. So I thought we might as well take advantage and also make it easier for the customer. But I've got to get going from my Pilates class. I'm excited to see my friend Charlotte. And then I'm probably going to get a protein smoothie afterwards and head home to get to work for the day. This is the best and worst part about having dogs, although I feel so bad calling it the worst because it's the sweetest thing ever. I just got out of the shower. I was about to start fully getting ready, getting dressed, everything. I sat down on the couch with my computer to do some emails just for a second. And I have them both plopped on top of me. And how could I ever get up? It's really the sweetest thing, and I'm so lucky that I get to work this way, but I would also really like to get off the couch. gotten home from what I think was a really incredible sourcing trip. We are launching our circular marketplace where we are going to be reselling old designs that we don't produce anymore. Customers are going to be able to consign their pieces and I've also been curating a lovely selection of vintage styles, mostly in categories that we don't produce. So I have a lot of outerwear and shoes here and I have to say so myself, I found some really incredible pieces. I am going to have the hardest time parting with these, but I think that the secondhand marketplace is going to launch with about 50 pieces for the first drop and that includes vintage and our own designs that we have available secondhand. I don't even know where to start. I've had so much fun shopping for our customer that we already designed for because it is definitely my personal style, but it's also a bit different in a way. I found a source that I wish I could share with you guys, but I think I'm gonna be sourcing there a lot more often, so I'm not going to, even though I'm really not one for gatekeeping. But I found these amazing genuine leather western boots from her. I think this piece I'm gonna be keeping for myself. It's a motorcycle vest, also genuine leather. These boots are so similar to my Angela Millimeter boots that we've used for styling in a lot of photos, so I was so excited to find these. I found these Bottega the Rogue-esque mules that are quilted, also leather. These are a distressed riding corset boot, also reminds me very much of Angela Millimeter. Maybe that brand fight in Navarrova, if you guys are familiar, that do some cool colored boots. These reminded me a lot of those. I have a lot of boots, I must warn you. I wanted to add some more feminine shoes. I found these black kitten heel mules, some engineer moto boots, and these need a little bit of love. I'm not sure yet if I'm gonna sell them as fair condition or if I'm gonna go ahead and get them resold and mark up the price a bit, but they're these leather braided square toe kitten heels. I have a lot of vintage leather outerwear pieces as well. I found this men's leather bomber that has this O-ring zip. I think this would be really cute oversized on a girl, or very 90s on a guy, especially with like a pair of our canvas pants that we designed. I also have this leather oversized blazer. I couldn't pass on some of these vintage straight leg Levi's that I found. I found these vintage Wrangler jeans, a really amazing pair of vintage Gap. Another piece that I might need to keep for myself is this corduroy 70s trench coat. I've already been wearing it to kind of test it out. I found this denim blazer with these amazing wood buttons. 
a nice textured men's linen blazer. We made a lot of linen pieces a couple seasons ago and I think this will go really well with those. I found this sort of military cropped bracing jacket that's a lightweight canvas. I love this color in the antique silver hardware and it reminds me a lot of a Rick Owens jacket that I have. A lot of Rick Owens inspiration as always. I also found these wide leg leather cargo pants that are in amazing condition. Another belted leather jacket. I really hit the leather jacket jackpot. I found several of these cargo jackets that are quite lightweight that I think will be great for men. They're really similar to some chore jackets that we've made in the past. I also found this amazing suede jacket that reminded me so much of Tom Ford Gucci. This is one of the pieces that I would say is not totally in line with our brand but I just couldn't pass it up because it was so amazing and that's another one that I'll struggle to not keep for myself. I found this pair of nylon cargo pants. There's still more, you're gonna have to check out the site.